but we are going to make homemade mayonnaise um, this is just a very simple recipe for making your homemade mayonnaise the reason why i want to share this video is because mayonnaise is made with a lot of artificial additives things that you don't need for your body and in fact it's something that you can make on your own the, the, the things you need to make them are readily available in your home okay there are things that you make you have them in fact right now you have them in your shop and i'm going to share with you a secret ingredient that you put in it that will make it even last long because a lot of people say uh, even though i make homemade mayonnaise they still get bad I'd go and buy my store bought uh, mayonnaise. But I think the thing is, you need to just add one ingredient. And I want you to stay with me to the end of the video so that I can share with you what I added in it. And you'll be amazed at it, okay? So let's start. Make sure the eggs are not um, from the fridge, they are room temperature eggs. Um, we need spices because once you are making your mayonnaise in, in your house, you can tweak it anyhow you like. You can put rosemary. You can see the salt I'm using here is um, garlic salt. I decide to use garlic salt in it. And um, you can see I want the mayonnaise to have flavor. So I'm going to be using my garlic salt. Then, of course, I'm using my oil, my olive oil. If you don't want olive oil you can use the grapeseed oil but i always prefer to use the things that are around you i don't know where the grapeseed oil here in nigeria but if you have grapeseed oil around you can feel free to get it and then my immersion blender if you have an immersion blender fine if you don't you can always mix with your um, whisper right and mix with your whisper so all i need to do now is i'm going to I'm going to add in my my eggs now. Make sure they are good temperature. If you, if you are getting your eggs from the fridge, just put them inside warm water. For the last time in this video, please I beg you. Ah, what happened? That is, yes, look at me. They have exposed me. They have exposed me. They have exposed me already. I will not hide it. Don't worry, I'm going to get me one. So I'm going to squeeze this inside. We just made yogurt because, of course, you know, a lot of things in this house is homemade. Help us to cut cost a lot. And see, we just made fresh yogurt. So, from the yogurt, we got this way. So, you can see this great yogurt. Okay. We even got more of the yogurt way. And so, I'm going to add this to my mayonnaise. This is fermented way. This is very healthy. This is a good probiotic for you. If you are trying to add fermented foods, please don't discard your yogurt whey. 
it's very very good for your stomach for your tummy it has healthy bacteria that help to fight off diseases and infections your colon needs it okay so this one i'm going to add it i'll add a two tablespoons i'll tell you why i'm using this Seed oil, like I said, but if you don't like the strong flavor that comes with olive oil, you can use um, almond oil. No, no, avocado oil, basically. So, um, so I'm going to wait for it to settle so that I'm going to put it under. You can see before you start to immerse your blender, make sure that. Everything is settled on that. If you have mustard, you have mustard, uh, Dijon mustard, you can use it too. But if I don't have mustard, so I'm just using it. So you can see that settled and the oil has come up, so it's time for us to.
show you one of the